Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Nikon D800. This is a camera that I've actually been playing with for over a month now, and I really like this camera. In fact, I like this camera so much that I'm going to have to buy this camera. And this camera is a natural extension of some of the other good products that Nikon's had come out lately. Now, the D800 is a behemoth. It's not too heavy, about two pounds, but it shoots 36 megapixels. Yes, 36 megapixels, which is just giant. I bring these images into Photoshop and I can't believe how many pixels I have to work with. A lot of people were concerned though that the camera was gonna get really noisy packing that many pixels into the sensor, but I'm not really seeing it. I've shot in a variety of conditions, including low light, outdoors, landscape, studio, and what I'm finding is really solid photos, especially with Nikon's NEF RAW files, very, very versatile, easy to work with. The camera is fully supported by Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop, as well as Apple Aperture and iPhoto, so the pictures you take will work in those systems. Now, we've got 12 white balance presets, very versatile, 51 point autofocusing, so it's very, very fast. What I like is that it's weather sealed. This is a pro body, so it's gonna be great in the outdoors. Get a nice solid grip, easy to hold on to. If you want, there's actually an optional battery grip you can add on as well. Now, one of the things I like about this camera is some of the specialty shooting I could do with it. I am a big fan of HDR and time-lapse, and this camera excels at both. For the HDR mode, you could shoot up to nine bracketed exposures. Now, that's a lot more than you typically need for HDR, but many cameras top out at three or five. And if you're shooting a really dynamic scene, such as a broad landscape or a nighttime scene, those extra brackets will really come in handy to make a great HDR photo. Plus, even if you're not gonna do HDR processing, it's a nice way to go ahead and get some safety shots in the can. Another thing that I really like about this camera is its time-lapse features. You could shoot time-lapse on this camera and it behaves really well. What's great about it is it has an in-camera time-lapse mode, so you can go ahead and record directly to the card as a finished movie, or you could use the built-in intervalometer to record at a higher file size and then assemble those frames using post-production software. Now, this camera is very flexible for the pro or the enthusiast. You've actually got accessory ports on the side here, opens up nice and easy, and this allows you to connect all sorts of things from GPS, as well as things like time-lapse remotes. And on the side here, we've got very versatile ports. What I like is this camera actually supports USB 3. So this is a very fast way to transfer. I occasionally found myself transferring right off the cable and the camera into the computer. Another thing you'll notice is a headphone port. Now, this camera is designed for great video, and I am a big video enthusiast, especially when it comes to DSLR. What I like about this camera is how flexible it is. Besides shooting 1080p and 720 at pretty much all the frame rates, this camera actually supports the ability to make adjustments while you're recording. So you don't have to have lenses with manual dials. You can go ahead and make tweaks to the exposure, exposure compensation, the ISO while shooting, as well as, most importantly, hear the audio and adjust the audio while you're recording. This is a big first, and many cameras don't have this. One of the things that's also unheard of, especially at this price point, is that the HDMI port puts out a clean, unwatermarked video signal. This means you can use third-party hardware, such as a Ninja Atmos recorder or AJA or Blackmagic, all of which we sell here at Autorama, and you could use those to go ahead and record a clean, uncompressed video signal meaning that you can use this in a professional video workflow if needed. Another thing I really like is the flexibility of recording. Now, this camera records to both an SD card and a compact flash card, meaning that I've got flexibility. I tend to favor the compact flash card really high speed when shooting time-lapse or super fast burst mode. This camera can get up to eight frames per second in burst mode, but I could take advantage of the more affordable SD card option as well and that works really nice. Now, this camera is sort of the best of both worlds for a Nikon shooter. It works with both FX and DX lenses, meaning that you have a choice. You can go ahead and use the crop sensor type lenses on this camera and it will adjust to perform, 
or you can use the larger lenses and take advantage of the full sensor frame to capture those higher resolution images. Let's take a quick look at the menu system on this camera. So one of the things I like best about Nikon is the great interactive controls you see on the back of the camera when shooting. The heads up display shows you a histogram, which I really like, as well as the ability to see things like the color space and the camera profile you're using. Pushing up or down will cycle through different types of views depending upon what you've been shooting with. Let's press the menu button here to take a look at the overall menu system. Nikons have a lot of power, so you're going to see a bunch of choices here depending upon what you're doing. Of course, the playback menu allows you to set things like how long the image will be reviewed. I tend to leave this off to save on battery life. Another nice thing is the shooting menu, and you'll find total control, including how you name things, which of the two slots it goes to. One of my favorite features is the ability to say how the card slots behave. In fact, you can go ahead and have the images automatically back up to two cards while shooting, which is really nice to know that you've got that extra safety net. Of course, we have the ability to change all sorts of options about how we record our RAW files, including really high bit depth. The fact that we can go 14-bit is a real standout feature here, giving us much greater color fidelity. You'll also find versatile support for the Adobe RGB or sRGB color space. Within the custom shooting menu, you have things organized by easy to find categories. A very robust autofocus system, including 51 points of autofocus, the ability to work through different ISOs all the way up to 6400 natively, but with the ability to range from 50 to 25,000 using some of the different exposure compensation and ISO adjustment methods. And great controls here. Now, I find that I'll often turn off things like the beep so that I don't hear any sort of noise as I'm going through the menus, and I like to minimize sort of my footprint. Another thing that I like are the command dials, as you're seeing here in some of these photos. The fact that we have a quiet mode that makes it very easy to shoot without making as much sound. You hear the nice soft click. Depending upon the speed of your card, it's going to go faster or slower, but this really opens up some options. Now, you can go ahead and store that to the internal buffer, or they will write to the card. Lots of choices within the menu system, incredibly versatile, only matched by the great placement of buttons on this camera that make it really intuitive to drive and control the body. The Nikon D800 is a very versatile camera, and if you're a Nikon shooter, there's a lot to love about this camera. Great body, great resolution, lots of control. Now, if you're into video, I highly recommend you check this out for some of the unique features it has, but time-lapse shooters, HDR photogs, or just people looking for that power to capture great landscapes are really going to like this camera. Be sure to check it out. There's some great kits over at Adorama.com. Tons of stuff there for different price packages so you can configure this camera how you want. My name's Rich Harrington. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.